Hello guys, Woohoo here, back with another video. This time around a little bit uh, more different than usually. Uh, I did a long stream yesterday, actually for seven and a half hours. It was pretty damn fun actually to, to do some streaming again, but uh, I like it when it's more not on a schedule. So I wanted to do this video. I'm just gonna do my daily thing. So uh, you can kind of call it like a YouTube stream, but I really don't want to stream on YouTube. So I'm just gonna do what I usually do on like day-to-day -day stuff on Trove and of course we're gonna do Starbar and I'm also gonna include some runs in the Delve where well, I'm also just gonna talk the whole way through and kind of kind of throw or throw stuff kind of uh, stream stream like I guess I can call it like that. So in U10 uh, I usually do three dungeons five star dungeons every day uh, and also, maybe I should mention this before, uh, there's not too many people in this world now. I was AFK for like 20 minutes or something like that. And uh, that's how Trove, people always talk about like, oh, Trove is so laggy and rubber bandy and stuff. It is, uh, but it's actually a flaw in the core game. And I talked about it on stream yesterday. Uh, I guess I can talk about it again today. <laughs> But um, yeah, the, the problem is with Trove is why it lags is that it can't handle, uh, the, I guess the TLDR is that it can't handle, um, I usually don't do this five star over here because it's just stupid. <laughs> Not, it's fine, but I'd rather do the other ones. There's a plenty of them around. Um, so yeah, uh, Trove basically can't really handle very well too many people uh, in the same place. Especially when everybody is basically exploring the world, and if you played Minecraft, you and you played on a server, you can kind of feel like it's a bit lacking when people are, you know, running around exploring new areas and stuff like that. Uh, but Minecraft is a lot better to handle it, and also you can't go as fast in in Minecraft as you can do in Trove. And uh, as you can see, all this is generating now, and when there's like a ton of people doing that in all directions, then it, it is going to to lag. So. Basically, it's a, co a flaw in the um, game engine that Tryon World back in the day made themselves. Um, I guess I should put up a, like a disclaimer that this is only stuff I've heard. Uh, I've never heard a developer say it itself. It's basically what I've heard from other in-game players that said that this is what they have mentioned at some point. Uh, but it kind of makes sense uh, because since I waited, now there's no like rubber banding. There's not like and. and People always ask, uh, for example, you can, I don't can, can't see it right now, but there's a guy right here that's asking for like a U10, empty U10 world. And again, uh, the less people there is in the world, the, the better it, it is. So if you feel it's very rubber bandy and stuff like that, just wait, you know, 20 minutes, do something else, uh, watch a YouTube video. That's what I do. And like maybe a couple, you, you know, you could watch one of my videos. You could watch this one. Uh, watch some of this and uh, you know wait 20 minutes or so this is gonna be a longer video though uh, because I'm just recording no editing uh, well mostly not no editing <laughs> but um, yeah I'm just you know playing doing what I do and so yeah I completed the uh, first here I always do three sometimes I do like all my uh, star bar in like your 10 worlds and the uh, forgetting this here for getting my crystalline cores. So the first one you do every week, uh, every week, sorry, every day, uh, if you do it in a really good time, uh, really good, a good time, uh, you get eight. That's a gold reward. And you get a silver reward and a, another silver reward and then it's bronze rewards for the rest of it. And that's only gonna give you that. So um, that's why I bypass all of these because uh, I just wanna do those because I need the crystalline cores. Uh, I gotta get it all the way down to the bottom, see. Uh, I have 800 now, but it costs a thousand per crystal four gear. And I got one piece yesterday while I was streaming and I hope to get another one. I could be fun to get one doing this video, but uh, we'll see. So um, you can also do your star bar in, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, what's it called? The, um, in the delves, but uh, I'm just gonna do them all here. So first I'm just gonna run and do three of the uh, big, uh, Things here so yeah back to the talk about lag so so yeah if you just stay of K for those 20 minutes whatever you can do do longer um, 
And what I do is just I, st I stand at spawn and I just stand there and then I'm AFK there. It doesn't create a lot of lag for you just being in the world. So I'm not like kind of causing more lag. Well, anybody who's, <laughs> who's in the world, right, causes... I'm causing lag right now, right? Of course, anybody is. But uh, it's something that the servers can handle. So, yeah, I just kind of want to mention that uh, to people. And you might... Why doesn't, you know, Gammy go fix it? Well, I, I my theory is, and there's nothing I know about, is that... Um, well, something I do know, what people have said to me, is that they don't do it because of the core. It's in the, the game engine, and they, there's nobody at Gamigo or Gamigo that knows how to code the uh, game engine. Uh, so if they try, uh, they might, you know, delete some important things like the mastery system, and suddenly they don't know what people were at mastery wise or something like that, and then suddenly everybody is back to square one, and then I know. <laughs> I know there's some people that is going to definitely quit uh, playing the game if uh, a thing like that happened. Um, of course, it's a mistake. It's not something they do on purpose, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's just how it works. But so that's something that could happen uh, if they mess around with it. They don't know. Um, but then, the, then the point is, and you'll probably ask, like, why don't they just hire somebody? Like, why don't they just hire a person that knows how to do it? And they can do that, but the problem is that it's still a risk. The person is not guaranteed to absolutely know what to do, right? It, it's always a risk. And the point is also uh, the money, right? It's going to cost money to get this person to, to fix it. And it's maybe not like just, hey, I know what to do. I just have to change this code and it's over. It might take a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, the, I think there's just not, Trove is just not making enough money uh to um you know uh to support uh, that change right now and again you can bypass it with uh just you know what i just did you can see i have no rubber banding at all i have no lag at all uh, i don't know how many we are at the moment like right now i'm five we're five people in this world so yeah and uh there's a lot of you know people you can always ask in your club if you're part of a club ask for an mt1 or if you see me running around in a uh, in a club, uh, just I guess in the U10 world, uh, and you can join it, then uh, just join on me. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, so yeah, that is that is basically the the rundown of <laughs> what the lag is. And I I was thinking I was thinking about for a long time to make like a video about it, but I guess I did that now. <laughs> um, I don't know how it is on consoles, if the lag is the same there or if it's only on PC, but uh, you can do the same thing on, you know, on the consoles and stuff like that if you want to do so. Pretty, pretty neat. Well, yeah, so we did a lot of streaming. I did, like I said, so many hours yesterday because I was, I was kind of not annoyed, but I was kind of like, oh man, uh, I really uh, want to get, uh, you know, uh, some C4 so I can actually start placing some of these um, resources that I have um, into actually something and you can see this one is fully stored up I just went ballistic and I just went all in on the nitro and everything and nitro is pretty cheap now because everybody's like doing well people want money uh, or flux and um, and also you have all these, uh, I was about to say Gundam trains, but they are called Gundam trains. But you also have the banner now in the new Delve update where you get 50% extra, um, what is it called? Nitro. You get 50% extra Nitro. So uh, as gathering day, uh, you can see you can get 100% extra if you're a patron and 50%. So you can actually have that 100% just by wearing that banner. So that's a lot of Nitro lot of nitro to be gained and it's i think it's gone from like 400 a piece to uh let me see if i can say <clears throat> see what it is right now yeah about 80 about 80 per a piece that's really a good really good price so i think buying a like ten thousand or something like that i bought i bought that uh is basically uh it's best basically like eight hundred thousand or something like that so a nice million i think i used yesterday for a piece uh for upgrading it 
And of course you can do all that for free if you want to, just keep grinding, but uh, I don't really want to do a, a uh, what's it called, a Ganda train. Uh, I don't have a Ganda myself, but I don't really want to follow one either. Um, and I probably had some friends that could have like uh, sold it to me cheap, but uh, might as well spend that flux for some people. So, have I done three? I can see it right here. Uh, yeah, see, silver reward, silver reward, and also, and basically, you just if you do it in time, it's going to do do that. And I guess while we are running, uh, right here, you can see there's a pattern to this to the five stars and the three stars. So they always in a pattern like this. So there would be one around here. They're not exactly on line. But you can see this is the line right here and there's a line right here. So this is the pattern that they always spawn in. So if I go this way, there should be one right over here. Um, there's one there. I don't know if that's the... No, that's in, that's in a th different pattern. That's the, the pattern right here, right? It's called this way as well. So yeah, but I like this one. And I always do the uh, Adventurine as well. Uh, quest to do uh, these. This of, these you, of course, pick up at the different... Uh, spawn points and yeah the these of course these here <laughs> um, so now I can only get a bronze reward for this one so uh, but it's still gonna give you a uh, like a box that has a chance of I think I don't know if it's 50 is the highest I don't know if 50 is the highest um, what is it called uh, highest um, amount of uh, Crystalline core you can get in those boxes, but I know it's um, I know it's leave 15. I've gotten recently 15, so we can get 15. But else it's like the most common reward is like one. So I guess, I guess if you going from zero because you need a thousand crystalline cores to upgrade a crystal four all the way to the max. Uh, so it basically would be a thousand, uh, you know, a thousand. Um, thousand crystal uh, crystal five i was about to say five star dungeons to to do so but since you do get eight and you can just do like i said i, I do like at least three every day uh it's not hard to do three and um, i'm still chasing a few items uh crystal three items for my i need three faces for for my pirate captain for my knight and for my fate trickster and then every class has uh uh, three crystal three on all their uh, items. You can also get crystal three. Uh, sorry, I'm like no, so it's like so itchy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, then it all of them has a crystal three on here, and I think that was. I know there's crystal four, but it's just so hard to get at the moment. So maybe with time, uh, I can get crystal uh, uh, four and all of those as well. So let's see. Oh, this is only a two. Okay. Look like it all. Yes, please. And then you basically do. Let's just keep doing uh, five stars. Uh, this is pretty nice. There's also another quest. This is to uh, gather some some ore, which is really nice on on when you're doing that Ganda train. See, there you go. That is the next one right there. Again, I don't do these because it's there. That's the only ones I really don't like to do. Because it's you have to do in the ground in a circle and stuff like that. I actually made a video as well, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, like kind of going over how I do all these dungeons. But you can kind of see it when I do it here. But I include that one as well because I want to include, of course, all of them. Here we got another one that I. It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst either, um, especially when you have the radar uh, mini boss radar as I have. I think it might be a little bit harder on the uh, people that are. Um, that are playing uh, from uh, on consoles and stuff like that. But uh, if you just know the spawning points, you know, if you just know the spawning points, there's one spawning point right there. There's one up here. Uh, when you do it a lot, you do get to uh, just remember where all of them basically are. So that's one spawning point here. Uh, there's a spawning point in right there. Up here, there's a spawning point. There's also a boss here. And also when you've, you know, played a while, you know what like the big bosses look like. And of course there's a spawning point up here and on one over there, I think. I'm not sure if that's one is over there is actually spawning point. But I'm pretty sure it is. Like 99% sure. 
like 99% sure. And that's like all the top up here. Then there's like a spawning point right here with a guy. And there's a spawning point over there as well. I'll show you guys why I've done this. There's a spawning point right over here in that circle thingy, whatever that is. I also, everything is downstairs. And then you go, of course, right over here and here. But you can always bomb your way down if you want to do that. Uh, all the dungeons I did in the like the guide tutorial, whatever you're going to call it, uh, I did just show, you know, whatever that was. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you just have to go around. They, they always spawn on these here platforms. And uh, I'll pick that item up as well. So yeah, let's do one more. I don't actually know what we're doing on the star bar. So let's just really quickly. So we have done, so the next one is four. I think it fits with like, I want to say seven, seven of those. I kind of want to say seven, but yeah. It should be one this way here. Uh, should be one around right here. They're not exactly on that, but you can see there it is right up here. So they're being very, uh, Oh, uh, this one is probably like one this here because, you know, it might, it should have been right here, but you know, it, it can move a little bit. So I'm just going to go right over here and it's going to, oh, not donate. I just want to do that. And, oh, oh I want to do collect. Not that I have to, but, uh, when you see a station like this, there are not too many of them. They're fairly out there, but not crazy. And also if you're doing like all the, what the hell am I doing? If you're doing all the dungeons, you're going to fill up on items pretty quick. Um, a little tip, somebody, uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but I was kind of surprised somebody asked me, not yesterday, but uh, not too long ago, actually. They asked me about, like, uh, how do I pick up all the items like that? I just hold in the E button. Instead of just clicking on every item, and just you just hold it in for a few seconds, just hold it, and then it, it sucks up everything there is in an area. And, um, yeah. Of course, there's an add-on that was our mod uh, that um, does the all the those you know that shadow and whatever that those are uh, things. That's of course an add-on that does that. But usually, when I kill something, I tend to just hold in the E button uh, to uh, hold an E for uh, picking everything up, uh, even if I can't see it. I'm, I set my uh, loot filter to everything because uh, crystal items does not give you fluck, uh, flux. It just gives you cosmic uh, dust. Uh, I think I have, uh, have yeah, 1.5 million cosmic dust, and it's not because of uh, that, but it's based. It's all because of the. Uh, <laughs> it's all because of uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know, gear that I always picked, that the, all the crystal gear that I picked up over the time. It's, of course, also something to do with, you know, some of the, um, yeah, but it's mostly that. Uh, I don't know if, see, we've done four, so this is the fifth here. So we can do one more five star, but I think we're just going to try to do some uh, regular ones right now. Um, I didn't think I showed. I didn't show uh, here. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. You can see here the Bronx. You can see it says Bronx right there. So there we, yeah. So, but getting eight of those is pretty nice. Like uh, crystalline cores, eight of them. There's a five star right over there. There's a three star and a five star that look very similar to each other. But uh, I guess we can go for that one instead. But we are going to fill up our car. Uh, yeah, I'd rather go for that one since it's right there and it's one of the easier ones, I guess. <laughs> easier, better ones. So basically, that's just what I do. Uh, I have the Cinnabar Tome on right now because I've done all my legendary ones, but Otherwise, it would be leg other legendary one because I'm of course I'm I'm recording this on a Sunday, just a chill Sunday. Um, I thought this was something that could bring a little bit of difference. Be just talking to you guys, uh, just doing my daily thing. Uh, again, call kind of like a stream, right? Um, I guess I could stream on YouTube and just leave it there, but I I, I think I would rather do it like this. I like to have an intro and stuff like that, the outro and stuff like that in as well. Uh, so 
there's not going to be a lot of editing. It's just going to be putting in a uh, an intro <laughs> and an outro, and then it's going to render for a long time because we're going to like a. I guess I'm going to cut out the part as well with the loading screen uh, with the delves. Uh, do like a full what I do the full del run. So I guess it's just uh, if you there's something you kind of something different, right? Not always do like the tutorial style uh, videos and stuff like that, but just do something different. Uh, make different content, I guess. <laughs> the same game, I guess. So you're really not be uh, different, but I do feel like there's quite a lot of div uh, you know uh, variety in what I do. Uh, I kind of tend to not do too much variety because uh, I do want to have people see what I you know what I do basically. And uh, yeah, so start calibar is done. So now we can go back to the uh, hub. It shouldn't our hub no the uh, the, the the club world. And it shouldn't take too long. I actually spoke over the, uh, you know, the uh, <laughs> the loading screen. So yeah, I was I was thinking I should have you know taken it out, but uh, but no crystal three items so far, unfortunately. But maybe we'll get some in the uh, in the. Uh, so uh, let me loot collect all this or claim all it. So this is from that. Got a bunch of these because it's uh, double. We all can't see it, but it's double star uh, uh, bar week. We'll see, you can get five. I got five there, so that's uh, pretty nice. I thought I, I think I got a little bit more there. 21 chaos chest, <laughs> it's uh, crazy. And throw in these, because yeah, I don't want to open them all the time. And these go just in there. They have their own uh, spot in there. So now it's time for some Dell. I think we can go without uh, needing to uh, do much, uh, but I'm gonna do a challenge one because I'm done with all my private ones. If I go here, uh, go private. See, I'm done with all my private ones, so I need to do the all the oh, all the challenge ones. Um, when I saw this, I saw 500. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, it was per floor. So when I do 14 uh, in one run, one run <laughs> that is. Um, I, it counts for every single floor. I thought it's, I had to put down 500, you know, and do like it. That was basically one. No matter how many floors I did, it would be one. That's what I thought. Uh, so yeah, almost done with that as well. But I can also show you something uh, funny if you, yeah, that's going to post it on Twitter as well. But now you can see it right here. I'm also probably going to post it on the Discord. Uh, but right here, we got a four years locked in every single day so yeah a streak is 1461 and you might say oh that's pretty you know but that's also through uh, going places like america and stuff like that managed to lock in every single day still even though uh, i went to traveling and stuff like that and uh, yeah if you want to see the total days this is my total days 1760 uh, 76 sorry uh days locked in uh and this is of course uh you remove those uh, 1400 days the days before that was uh when i was playing way before everything uh this is basically four years uh i have been when i was started streaming or got back into trove and started streaming it again and stuff like that so almost been streaming it four years uh ish, -ish. so yeah let's uh just place down a uh you know, a challenge delve, and it's always going to start at the, because um, it's an easy one, uh, it's always going to start at 110. So I do from 110 to 124. I got my crystal item, a four, uh, crystal four item. I got it at the, uh, the I was about to say delve, but yeah, I got it. Okay, we got to get 28. Um, what's it called? Um, I got mine in 115. So it, I've heard people gotten theirs from uh, level 113, but I might have been fixed. It might have been fixed. We talked about it on stream yesterday, and some people were like, it's fixed. You know, you can't get it unless it says you 10 right up here. And it's, you 10 is from level 115. Um, I, th I think it's actually 113. It's actually, uh, you know... Uh, so I, I technically you can get it from 113, I guess, as long as it says that, like uh, you 10 right up there, you should be able to have a chance of dropping um, 
you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, Crystal Four Gear. Uh, just kind of funny because Chris, U10 would be all, also the where you would get your Crystal um, Crystal Three Gear. I don't know if Crystal Three can drop from like nine here, but it wouldn't make sense that in here you would be able to get Crystal Three, but out in the out in the world you would not get that if that makes any sense. So. Yeah, the objective is just to kill all the monsters here, and it's pretty easy, uh, pretty simple because of how how my power rank is, if my stats and stuff like that is. So I just really just run around like this. It's first when we get to like a hundred and the hundred and twenty fourth floor is kind of always kind of hard. It's kind of weird because uh, it kind of for some reason goes up like significantly the difficulty. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there's not much lag in here because it's only me uh, and you can only invite eight people. So yeah, it's not very super difficult. And here is the boss and it's going to be pretty simple. <laughs> so I think they made the bosses easier. That's what they put in their like hot fixes and stuff like that. I don't know why they did so, but uh, slightly. And of course you can't get crystal uh, four from that. The... Uh, from whatever that was, uh, the uh, pressure thing. So let's go into 111. Do, do, do. I actually think the oh, I should have used, oh, fudge. I should have used, um, okay. Well, all right, I can't do that now. I wanted to use a, that uh, clover that I got. I wanted to use that. Kind of has to load for some reason right there. It's kind of funny, but. Uh, but I, I wanted to use a clover because uh, I have used patron and there's also loop day. So I have that 400 extra right now. I'm rocking, uh, one 10,476, uh, magic find like the top is around, uh, 11, 11,000 with patron because it, of course it doubles it and you get a lot of magic find now that you, uh, get 50% extra. Um, I can't really see it from my face, but I have 50, 50% 50, 50 extra because I'm over 150 uh, magic find. So before you, you just got a flat 50 uh, magic find if you didn't die. But now that it's over 150, uh, if you have over 150, it's a 50% it's a increase instead. And uh, that's why we can reach numbers like that. And again, uh, crystal uh, gear, if you don't know, you Probably. It's it's still it's not an old uh, well it is an old knowing I guess but if you don't know um, you uh, you don't get you're not guaranteed the, no matter how much magic find you have there is not a bigger guarantee of you getting crystal four or crystal three and stuff like that uh, there's just a bigger chance of you getting crystal items the higher your magic find is the more the more crystal items you are going to find but with you finding more crystal items, there's also a bigger chance of you getting crystal four or whatever it is, because the amount of, um, you know, the amount of crystals items you get. So if you get like 10 more crystal items than your friend does, you have a 10 bigger chance of getting it because you got 10 more items, you know? So it doesn't uh, increase the, uh, the chance of being crystal four is just increases the drop chance. But uh, the more the drops, the more chances, of course, it's going to be to be crystal four. So you just want to have as many uh, crystal items dropping as you can. Did I clear out the uh, Yeah, I did. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm using here uh, to go through, I'm using the, the, paint, the path painter. That's this one that makes me go faster. And the number one ability on my bar is uh, the vacuum that just sucks up uh, all the uh, different, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, or, not ores, I was about to say ores. It doesn't do ores, but it does crystal shadow shards, um, different materials and stuff like that. Because there is geo, uh, you know, materials in uh, these worlds. Let's look like that and I can show you guys right over here. So if I switch into here, you can see there's a, there's a shadow shard and crystals right there. So when I press number one, it sucks it all up. And over there, you can see that this is what I got. And of course that increases tomorrow. 
because it's Monday, so you get extra, double. I'm even gonna get triple because I, I used a three day pass to get this uh, here because I was just, I was, I was, I was sad. I was a sad boy not getting any Crystal 4 and everybody else was getting Crystal 4 and I was not getting any. Um, so yeah, what is the objective? Clear rooms. Okay, so we're gonna clear the rooms. Make sure you look at the objectives up here because uh, most of the time it's just defeating enemies. You can also take your time and do some, um, you know, get some of the ores if you want to. Uh, I don't really do that. But um, sometimes it also is actually, you know, collect ore. It's not always just kill things. Uh, this one is just clear out the rooms. So you get that blue or blue thing. I don't can you see it? But you can probably see it better here. You can see it's cleared out there. And the vacuum is also really nice because it also sucks in monsters. So you can kind of collect them up and you can just switch between the, the modes like that. Uh, whatever you want. You see, you, I can move the enemies and kind of pull them together. It makes it a little bit easier to do so. Now I just need to do one more room. There's the dude. And I, I said this on stream yesterday as well. I've tweeted at uh, Tro on Twitter. Tro over Twitter. Twitter Tro. Um, about uh, what about a like a uh, a companion that actually does something for the vacuum, right? There's not a there's not a uh, there's not an you know uh, a companion that does anything for that. I have a companion, you know, these companions here. I don't have a companion uh, that does anything from for the vacuum, and I really want it to have a lower cooldown because I think it starts at. 15 seconds or something like that and it's that, that's just if i want to clear out like a room like this for the materials it just kind of takes a takes a while because i go through it pretty quick so i just rather really have that but uh, they haven't gone back to me I, I tweeted them like a week ago so i think they just didn't see it or maybe they just like took the idea and kind of like oh yeah let's do that and then they didn't like kind of tweet tweeted me back or uh, said, yeah, that's, that's actually a good idea. You know, just makes sense, right? We are at the boss, and I cleared out all the rooms. <laughs> don't have to do that, but uh, you kind of can just do that. If you don't know up here, this is the what the mod there. So uh, it will chill the ground actually around the Trojans. Okay, here uh, this tier contains shadowy. Oh, okay, so it just tells you that it has a shadowy vault. Okay. And some enemies have reduced darkness. So darkness is, of course, the, the stat. We have light, and that's big the armor penetration. And um, and uh, what's it called? The, uh, and the enemies have dark or darkness. And darkness is the armor. So the more light you have, the more damage you're going to do to enemies that has darkness. And uh, only enemies uh, in Delve and view topside in, uh, in over here. As the darkness so if the rest of the world it doesn't so if you're coming back to the game you don't have to think about that at the moment and i don't know why these leviathan bosses style are just trying to get out of here the other guys also trying to get out so it's just making it a little bit harder and boom goes the diamond. and something i have to wait until my ultimate goes out because if i don't if i'm mid using my keys let's see i have to get my keys as well uh it's right here um if i'm mid using my keys and i'm i switch back to my normal form it stops doing the uh that thing there so unfortunately no no crystals in in this one here so and i just look collect all the banners but you can use it for whatever you want to all right that should be fine let's just keep going this ready station uh, goes up faster the more people that look at it, uh, depending on how many people you are in. So if you're only one person, this is like the fastest it can go up. But the more people that look at it, uh, keep looking at it. If you stop looking at it, it's basically, or you run away from it, uh, it's going to stop, um, you know, going up because that's basically for the point of not being ready. <laughs> it's not that that's in, not that important for the lower ones, the one you're doing here. The lowest I've done so far, or the deepest delve I've done solo, is uh, level 26, 126. <laughs> not not just 26. <laughs> that would that would be kind of crazy, but 126. That's what I've done. 
So yeah, uh, it might be more now that I have one crystal four item. Uh, and again, I haven't put uh, I haven't put uh, my pearls or the the pearls that are on the stats. I haven't put that on the um, I haven't put that on uh, any of the lights that. So I'm rocking right now just six and a half thousand uh, light. And that's more than enough on uh, on doing uh, on doing this at this difficulty. But uh, if you want to push, you need as much light as you can. It's very important. I also recently uh, made a video about um, what classes are like the best in Delve, and Draco is not the best. <laughs> best is, is Ice Age, and uh, then second is. Um, second is uh, Gunslinger. Gunslinger has always been uh, like the one of the best ones. It's always been like top tier. So it's always if if you are trying to invest into a character, I think Gunslinger is always going to be on top. I don't think it ever is going to uh, not be on top or like be one of the best. It doesn't have. It's not going to be always probably going to be like the best, but it's going to be like up there and like top two uh top three uh, of all the classes depending also what they do with like new classes i don't think we're gonna see one but uh you always uh you always you know uh you can always look or hope that you're gonna get uh that so yeah uh basically the the challenge uh easy challenge delve here is always going to be the same in the sense of uh, when you are going to get the uh, shadowy soul vault, the ones that has a chance of dropping um, dropping uh, the crystal items, uh, because it's always started 110. But it works like this. So uh, if you do a private one or a public one, um, you are going to get it every third floor. You're going to get it. So no matter what you, level you start at, you're always going to get it at the th three floors. So the third floor is always going to be a shadowy soul vault in that one. So before it was on specific levels, but they changed that to be whatever you start, it's just going to be three levels from that. And uh, yeah, so always make sure you, if, if you put down whatever, if you only need like, uh, well, one, <laughs> might as well do three, right? Um, especially if you're doing like yesterday, I was only missing... Uh, I was only missing one more floor for my uh, for my batch, for my. You can see I'm 151, so I only needed two more floors. But it was kind of wasteful not to, you know, do the last floor because that's basically what you know I wanted. <laughs> so I always do the, like three floors at least um, to do so. I've always always also always I've also made a video uh, talking about how you're gonna get your uh, you know your Titan Souls and your uh, Luna Souls, the Spoil Divinities as well. Uh, I didn't put in the Spoil Divinities in the title of the video, but uh, I hope people. I don't think people are that interested in the, uh, the Spoil Divinities themselves, uh, even though they're pretty nice. Also, you don't have to clear out everything. I just I'm basically done. I could just run to the boss, which I'm trying kind of doing, but I'm taking it quite slow because I'm just chilling right now. It's kind of fun just. Kind of talking to you guys. I kind of like that. Got collection challenges going on. Uh, collection challenges or challenges in general are uh, is uh, very um, is very good for uh, getting the effort points for you know the contest here. The boomer, you know, just do if you do all four stages. Uh, basically, every stage gives you eight points. So if you do all four stages, uh, you get thirty-two points. So you just have to do, uh, what is it called? Um, I don't know, four or something like that, four or five challenges during the week. And you're gonna get 125 uh, plus, and you're gonna get these two here. You need a lot to get up to, to getting these awards here, but they don't really matter that much. Uh, I don't even know what, yeah, I have to do, <laughs> have to do 16,000, that's a lot. You do get uh, effort points for everything you do. Like, look at that, 31,000. I think the shot 100 might be the highest, yeah, 24, no. It was actually the Revenant. 31,000. Damn. Premium Devil. That's a lot. 
uh it's not that it's bad rewards or anything like that but uh you really have to keep like if you really if it's your class for example um i don't know if i can see it effort can i see effort here yes yeah, so you have done four thousand uh on the draco this week uh you can see i'm right there that's because i, I play the record all the time so if it's one of your classes you know but of course the more popular classes is going to be uh you know more um more sought after or more harder to get up on the ladder so i always just do like four or five uh, challenges during the week uh and uh, yeah it's pretty uh, pretty nice and then i just you know uh get my effort points through that so um Talk about the uh, Lunar Salt and Titan Salt. I've done that in another video, but I might as well talk about it in this one as well while we're here. So every third floor, you get that shadowy uh, Soul Vault. You have to open with your key. And the first one you encounter is going to have Titan Souls equal to um, equal to Spike Walker, right? If we're going to do that. It doesn't matter which boss you're fighting. It doesn't have to specifically be uh, uh, Spike Walker. Um, but... Um, it it, uh, it can be, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter what uh, difficulty you do it at any, you know, you can, you can do these in private and just do it in the very, very lowest and just run through them super quick and get your souls like that. Uh, I don't do it because I still need crystal four gear and I probably never will uh, do them in a lower floor. But basically there's no need for carrying people in shadow towers anymore or like there were shadow towers carries before because the content was that, but now the content is is yours like it's everybody's content like i don't have to say oh oh wow i i'm not 10k power rank i i can't do what i need to do everybody can do uh the basically the end game delves in the end game so the end game is, or the the end game is both the end game and the starting game and the mid tier and <laughs> it's basically everything because it goes all the way from one to to i was about to say zero um but yeah you can do delve from like you know level one <laughs> so that's what it makes it really awesome what delve makes it that's why i mentioned delves because it caters to everyone and not that i didn't like uh you know uh, carrying people in shadow towers but it's just um this is a lot better you know people can also you don't have to do you always get your maximum of souls so before uh, you had to do it on Mondays because to getting those extra souls and stuff like that makes sense. And it's still good to do it on Monday. Uh, but it's not like, oh my god, you have to do something on Monday. Uh, you know, you can't do it on Monday. It doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, matter too much that you don't do it on Monday. Because uh, the only thing you extra get is the extra shadow shards and extra crystals, which is really nice. Uh, especially when you're just doing like this and you just, you know, suck everything up. Uh, and then just get so much stuff out of it. Uh, but you don't have to be doing it Monday and that's what it makes it amazing as well. And another thing it makes it amazing for end game players as well is that you can turn up the difficulty as much as you want. You can challenge yourself and your friends to go as deep as you can, uh, basically, and try to push as far as you can. Uh, and, and with that said, you can, uh, you know, developers, Gamigo, can, uh, you know, create any thing they want to they can create any kind of uh, gear that they want to because the um that's that's a soul vault so yeah if i haven't done it i could uh, get some titan souls also lunar souls lunar souls of course also the same that's also where you get them <laughs> i hope that was uh, apparently uh, but you just have to do 18 floors in total that's uh, that's the whole thing uh let's let's get rid of some of these in inventory here just clean it up a little bit make it a little bit more pretty there we go throw that in there throw that in there and the last thing is there so um oh can i do oh yes i will do a memento i'll give me some of that um also these guys you can buy all sorts of stuff from i'm just gonna buy three that's fine that's fine um so yeah when you have done you just like i said you have to do 18 in total the last time uh, the the 18th floor you get do you open up uh, you open up this here and I just got a normal hat 
just the crystal one that's fine that's fine let's continue um so yeah 18 floors and you get like titan souls the first five times five shadowy floors and then the sixth uh, shadowy vault there as i open there you would get your lunar souls and the spoil divinities so that's how it works like that i know that was a long explanation <laughs> uh, somebody's like I just want to know the information but I, I i did put up the information uh to let people know i tried my best at least to uh, put the information out there i guess this is a a very long tutorial video <laughs> um so yeah i think that's all the explanation there is really to to delve like uh, now you can see we are in U10, uh, so it should be dropping from that. It should have, it could have dropped from the last, uh, last uh, fault there. That's what it did. The other, I was really happy when that happened because uh, it's, you know, I do somewhat like what they have done um, with the crystal gear that you just can't trade it. But sometimes I just kind of want it to have it and then you know be done with it. Um, but basically also what I said about before, I guess I'm all over the place a little bit now, but, uh, they can reduce whatever items they want. And when I mean every, whatever item they want, uh, we can also get, uh, you know, crystal rings now, crystal rings, because the power rank don't matter. Like when I do this, the, the quote doesn't matter It's the point is that, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you can clear Delve 200, for example. I don't know what the deepest is right now. Let me let me check if you can see what the deepest is. East. This is the deepest challenge one. See if we had done it like 124 and stuff like that. Uh, let's see number one. So these are the ones that has done like the deepest this week, right? That's 174. That's the lowest that has been now. But it doesn't matter if it's 200, for example. It doesn't matter. It can also be 500. doesn't matter. The point is that... Um, um it, and that's that's what it makes it really nice is that they can introduce all these things that we really want i really want this to be uh you know crystal i want my banner or here to be uh, crystal as well i want my ring or my gems to be crystal uh, rarity also and they can do that and it's probably going to be like right now you can see i have 30 34 34 35 thousand sorry i can't say numbers numbers are hard uh, but if my power rank, for example, is 50,000, right? If it's 50,000, it doesn't matter if it's 50,000 because the content is there, you know? They couldn't do that before because when I, I can solo Shadow Towers right now. I can solo Shadow Towers. I could probably also do that beforehand, but now it's just even easier, right? Shadow Towers wasn't in that dynamic enough where it would, uh, you know, scale with your um, power rank. So basically you could never um you could never um you could never you could never uh, if you had <laughs> you could never scale it up enough that's what i mean that's what i mean like it you you can't uh i don't know what the exact word is i'm kind of struggling on what word it should be but like they could not introduce more powering to the game because the in-game content wasn't there but now it is. Now it is there, and you can basically keep uh, going as much as you want, right? So that's that's the whole point of that. That is, I already done that one. Why you give me again? Give me a new one. Oh, we got a memento. I don't know if I have this one. Is this a Pokemon I don't have? Yes, that was a Pokemon I didn't have. Yay! There's like 180 uh, of those. You gotta catch them all. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. I just call them Pokemon, but just they're mementos, and mementos don't drop. Uh, I figured out that they drop more with the more magic find you have. You get a chance of getting geese, and all they do these mementos, all they do is that they um, they give you uh, mastery. It's the you know never ending kind of mastery, except when you get all 180. But yeah, I like to call them Pokemon because you gotta <laughs> gotta get them all, and they really don't. <laughs> they kind of don't do anything, right? When you have your Pikachu, it's all that it matters, right? <laughs> no, it, it uh, you can't use them for anything. It's just like mastery, which is really nice. I don't know, even know what the top mastery is. Oh, that's not daily uh, mastery. 
there your mastery is. Okay, so that's the top mastery. And it's ever changing uh, because it depends on who gets all the mementos and, and stuff like that, so. It's kind of random, it's kind of random, you know, but I think it's fine. Uh, it might not be fine for the top people because they really have to, but then it gives you something to grind for, right? So I don't know. I guess it depends on what kind of person you are um, or how you like to play the game. So it's really up to you, however floats your boat. So yeah, I just use my vacuum as much as I can. But that's what I really like about and why I suggest it being that I, I thought like I've never heard about the idea talked about before, but people have told me that it's something that has like been in the developer's mind for such a long time. And I have never, I have never, I haven't, uh, haven't asked any developers about this. If that's something that's been down the pipeline for a long time, I just suggested it way, way back, uh, like an endless shadow tower. And I got the idea. I kind of got the idea from uh, Diablo, right? I, that's what I've said in my videos. Uh, I did it. I did like two videos on it. I did the endless shadow tower video and then I did like uh, make trove great again video <laughs> kind of a you know a trump kind of a reference i guess and um no but like there was some ideas and there's shadow towers of one of them as well and i called it in that because in uh, in path of exile they also have this delve uh thing and i called it delve in that one and it's just funny enough that it's called delve as well you know and I know that the uh, developers saw this video because I tweeted them at it and they said, oh, that's some, that sounds really good. And like, I, maybe they already saw the, the Shadow Tower video that I did way back because that's way longer because the uh, Make Trove Great Again is not like more than four, four or five months ago or something like that uh, by now, I think. Um, so they're not going to make that kind of content in, you know, so it, it might be been you know, around for longer, but I also did the one where I specifically talked about the never ending. That's an idea that it was spawned like a year and a half ago or something like that, at least a year ago. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if that's where it came from. It's just kind of funny that this is what happened to be what it ended up being. And okay, we've got to kill creatures here. Got to make sure that I wasn't, uh, What's his face? Um, Ors. <laughs> That's really annoying to find out when you uh... see now. Oh, it's getting a little bit harder now. You can see they're not like getting one shot. Uh, but anyways, um, it's kind of funny that this ended up what it was be what it was, and also that um, you know what's it called that uh, it's called delves. That's why. I don't know if that's a common word for this because Path of Exile also used it. Um, it might be. Uh, I, I don't know like all the English words, so it might be really uh, just that uh, I was about to say name for going down. <laughs> but uh, that's not what they call it in, you know, uh, it's about to call it trove but that's not what he called it in diablo they called it like greater rifts and stuff like that they called it rifts but uh this is kind of also very much like that and maybe it was like the theme all along from when geode you know were first was introduced right because it is geode uh there but i don't think it takes like the biggest of geniuses to kind of uh Put this together you know say oh it makes sense that we would be going through even this right um but the, the thing is though that uh they did make it you know you can do it yourself but uh you know it doesn't really i don't feel it has a connection to uh dell or to jude itself right it does have jude theme then uh, there is also all sorts of nice biomes for sure. Uh, but the problem, the thing is that you don't go here. You don't have anything to do with here going here and you have to open it up. Um, which I, you know, will also be kind of hard maybe in some way, but I think they could have used like a station, like the, uh, shadow tower station thing in that hub 
uh, not that everybody could join, but you know, uh, you could basically make it private or whatever. But the point is that, um, I don't know if that's too hard to make, whatever, but the, my, my, really my point is that, um, it could, uh, it just be more, make more sense, I would think to make it. So you have to, uh, uh, actually go here and actually the public Dells would be here. And I know it might be makes more sense and people can see it, but I wouldn't actually mind if it was in the, in the, in the geode because it has something to do with geode, right? Uh, oops, that's wrong. Here we go. <laughs> kind of messed that up. Uh, so maybe I know, maybe at some point they'll move it to there, you know, when they introduce more content, I, maybe it's good that it's there so people see it, but I think it should really be moved there. Uh, like there's plenty of room there. There's plenty of rooms that aren't being used that they could uh, move some move some stuff around even uh, or add some stuff. There's actually um, I guess I can't show that right now. But actually, when you spawn in, uh, if you look at the like front of you, there's some stuff. But behind you, there's actually a platform that's not being used, and uh, I think it would make a lot more sense. At least there was a crystal, but we don't know if it's four. It could be one. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to check around if I missed something. Didn't. All right, let's keep, keep going. We need 124. So we got a few more to uh, do. So but around an hour now. That's also kind of what I wanted it to be ish. Um, but I do like that it would be looking. But like I said, maybe if some new content gets added, you know, it makes you know, uh, a lot more sense that you would be hanging around in the Jude, uh, place because it has something to do with that. We have to kill enemies. All right. But maybe they'll move it at some point. I don't know if it is, it might be that, uh, feedback that, uh, they might've gotten some feedback while doing the, uh, it's about the, the, the PTS server where it was like, wouldn't make sense that it wasn't in the hub and people couldn't find it, whatever. Uh, but you know, uh, you, they can always, I would probably make like a video where they said, Hey, you're going to have to, you get to find, you go here, you go to the geode hub and, and, you know, find it there. Um, cause now we just do it in the, in the club worlds and that's fine. But, uh, I wouldn't mind using that. Like also, the uh, Shadow Tower lobby is still like, it's also there. It's, it's pretty nice lobby, right? Uh, well, you can still use it. You probably still want to use it, but I'm just saying, um, you know what I mean? I just, it just makes sense. There's not really no point to go to, uh, to Geo, uh, the Geo hub, uh, unless you of course want to go to the caves, but you get a bunch of stuff here anyway. So I don't really see the point of going there if that's not what you kind of want to do <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense let's see 119 so like five floor more floors we are uh, we're done it seems like uh, i feel like it takes about an hour it takes about an hour for me to kind of go through it all depending especially if i kill all the monsters i can also skip a lot of this i should just you know skip most of this because uh you are done with the objectives and let's just get to the boss. And it's the, I don't know why, but I get the, the, this, uh, parrot captain is, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, that's the one I get the most. I don't know why, but it uh, just do. <laughs> or yeah, not just the blue one, but the red one and, and so on. And we get the chest and we get to loot collect. Thank you very much. And we can end on to the next one. So you can see here it completes. And if I look away, it's not going to open up unless I go over and look at it again. And there you go. I think it goes a little bit, but not too much. So especially if you're more people, it goes really slow. If you're just the only one looking at it. <laughs> Just tells people that they're ready or if they're already, we've got to kill the monolith. Yes, 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 yes. I 
And I'm just hoping for some Crystal 4, especially now that I have Patron on. Uh, I hope to get, uh, you know, some... Uh, uh, some, um, some Crystal 4. Uh, I'm probably not going to do more today because I did so many yesterday. I did like a hundred and I would say 140, 150 floors yesterday. I did a lot. <laughs> and um, I could, you can do whatever, how many you want, but uh, uh, this is where we are starting to get, you know, the, the chance of actually getting Crystal 4. Uh, so it's kind of silly not to just keep going. I do want to uh, get that crystal four. I the I kind of it's a little bit more not sad now, but uh, you know if I get a uh, if I get a crystal uh, four face now that I already have, I'm gonna be a little sad. Uh, I'm probably gonna loot collect it to be honest. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just save it to be honest. I actually, I'm actually gonna save it, but. Uh, I'm not gonna invest into it. Uh, I'm only wanna invest into this one because they're so expensive investing into the four and I have no intentions of like uh, kind of playing on any of the other classes. I might do one for physical damage character, but magic, if I need a magic damage character, I can just move my stuff around and put it in there if I really wanna push, but I'm probably not gonna wanna push like anything at all. Um, I've kind of gone through, I can serve you guys here. Uh, you can favorite some stuff, right? It makes a lot of sense. Uh, mounts, uh, if you do it like that. See, uh, these are the mounts that I need uh, to make, basically. All these mounts give 100 mastery. There's also mounts that give 50, but since I'm not going for number one mastery, I'm just going for the mount that, for example, has the most, that gives me the most mastery, which is these three that I'm missing. These are all the ones that give uh, three uh, 100 mastery uh, if I go to travel and go here you can see all of these here is going to give you 100 so I just went through show all and I just went through all the categories and you can see there's a bunch of mounts here I have not gotten but they only give 50 mastery I don't I don't care about the geode one because um, I already have uh, the 100 uh, geode rank uh, if I need more uh, if they put in more ranks I don't know if they I don't think they are going to do um, uh, of course, I'm going to get more of these to get the maximum rank of this as well, because this gives light and it's very, very important. Uh, normal mastery doesn't give you anything. The first 500 levels does give you, you know, damage and power rank and such, but, um, we're, we're talking about light here. Um, so, so there's also, you can see this one and I basically went through all of them. Uh, this one is, I can't find this one. Uh, people have been looking, I can actually, like, there, you can't see it. <laughs> There's these mounts are here, uh, these bits low here haven't anybody found yet. So, uh, they might be not really in the game, but they basically have went through all of them. This one, for example, only 50 mastery, not worth it. Uh, it's worth it if you, you want all of them, basically. Uh, and there's this one, actually. Uh, what is, what is this? Is this a, oh, this is a store. Okay, so then some of them, are, is, this is the store, sorry. <laughs> so some of them are in the store and these cost uh, like real money. So I'm not gonna get these, uh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a few that is what I did. And also I did the same thing, uh, combat. I did the same thing for allies. All the allies that get 50, ma 50 mastery, I got, I got uh, put those in. You can see some of them give 10, some give 20. So if I go back to my, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 favorite stuff. There we go. Oh, uh, allies. So you can see here, there's a few allies here that I'm missing that I can craft. I need to figure out where I craft them. I think some of them, these are some in the uh, Luminati uh, biome, Luminati biome. Uh, I need to craft those, see what they cost and see if it's something I want to invest into. But it's, you know, these are worth making because 50 mastery is the most you can get out of an ally. Um, and these, of course, are all the ones that I use all the time. Uh, tomes are here. That's just because I favor them. And then I have a few batches I still need to do. I'm doing challenge uh, batches right now. This is a challenge delve. So, yeah, just trying to get these two batches. That's the two last batches I'm going to do for now. Uh, I might uh, I might do four more uh, Leviathans uh, just for getting these 30 mastery, but it's only 30. So next is 50, and I really don't like how they... I really don't like how they um, 
they uh they designed the leviathans i think they're really bad designed uh i've said this before and i'm gonna keep saying it until they fix it uh because what i've experienced is that people actually get mad at each other because it is like designed in a way where it it's like the eight eight people can do damage to it or something like that i haven't completely understood it but what i know is that it's eight people can do damage to it even don't no matter how many people you uh add and so sometimes it's just pit randomly picks whatever person that is uh, again i haven't done too many of them and i have enough light that people want to you can get like that's why you want kind of six thousand because people want a specific number uh it's a lot maybe a little bit easier now that uh, you know light is a little bit more accessible to people than it was before oh i thought like why is he not <laughs> why is he not dying uh that i already did so that's gonna be pretty hard um see what can we buy from these guys 300 sure just want to keep that low so i don't miss out on any of it um next floor is actually going to be a uh a shadow resolve vault but yeah when like eight people do damage to it uh it's gonna pick like random people or something like that and if you don't have enough light you're not going to do damage and the person that has a bunch of light is not going to do damage because it's only take eight people and stuff like that so i know that you can just invite x amount of people uh you know you can basically fill up a whole world with just people right so it's not like dell where you have a maximum of eight people you know um uh, it's a little bit more easier to scale when there's a like a limit to how many people you can invite there's also uh, the, that to a world. I don't know what the max is for one world, but it's a lot of people, right? But just make the bosses like harder or everybody can do damage to it, whatever. Uh, but I've seen people getting mad at each other because, or at least mad at new people because they didn't have enough light and uh, people didn't know they ha didn't have enough light and, and such. So I don't think, I think that's that's not a, a way that the Leviathan should be, be made. And... Uh, I think it's it just does the opposite of what I think the game should be like not like especially not bringing or especially not bringing people not together if that makes sense did that word that correctly I don't know but I want people to have fun together no matter if they're in-game players or new players or whatever you know if you invite a person you know uh, it's not shouldn't bring in like discomfort I guess <laughs> is that a word um for playing a game right if you know what i mean right objective complete um so yeah that's why i haven't done them even though i you know uh there so but people plenty of them do them because <laughs> Like I said, uh, I would probably also keep doing them if I didn't was lucky enough to get my perma torch after six. So that is really, really lucky. Like I said, there's people that have done like 2000 of them and has not seen them yet. Also like the mounts from there, if you want those, those are quite uh, hard to get as well. Or can be quite hard to get. Yeah, so the enemies are, you know, not dying as fast as they were before there we go and now we can get the what we're we getting oh spike oh no dreadnought sorry unfortunately getting dreadnought here you don't get uh uh it doesn't work <laughs> what would you call it like um uh it doesn't work uh towards your badge which kind of sucks <laughs> You do have to do it in the in the shadow towers i haven't actually tried soloing him yet i soloed uh hydra uh, so i knew i could do that but i've done it with some few people and uh there's people that still need it i was in a i was in a run with uh or trying to you know get my uh 300 done of the uh, hydra right and there was a person that was needing like still 200 when i was done i was like oh wow I'm happy at least I did some some of them, right? <laughs> Alright, so shadowy vault, let's see. Oh, not even a crystal. Not even a crystal. Robbed. 
absolutely robbed. It's going to do like that. So yeah, and uh, also, uh, something I do also have to mention: if you have, if you're a returning player, make sure that you uh, turn in all your uh, all keys. Sorry, there's a police car going by. I don't know if you can hear that, but it, there was one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all your old keys, make sure you op uh, put them in, all in uh, or craft them all into the new Delft keys. All of them into that because Delft keys is the only thing you can use now. Also in the Shadow Towers. Uh, you can actually open the Shadow Towers. Uh, it costs 5,000 now for Ultra, uh, but it's not a way of like farming like it was before when you just keep going that. You do spawn right into the boss, so which is really nice. You don't have to do any floors. You spawn right into the boss room. But and you can open up the uh, chest in the end with a shadow uh, with delve key. But it's only going to give you reward the first time you do it. So you, I think you can do uh, like go out, pay five thousand again, and then go back in, which is not worth it at all. Uh, it's not meant for that. It's just meant for the batches and uh, yeah. To get them done since they are implemented in the in the game still sad that we didn't get a batch for all the bosses but now there's no point to doing it uh but i would have loved to one for all the bosses one for daughter moon and, and such like that the only boss you can't find uh, in delves is actually the hydra boss apparently they couldn't take him out of the wall that's the least what the lore says but it also makes kind of weird because it's in the middle, right? And he kind of needs a floor, uh, like a wall to have the rest of his body in, in I guess. Um, so yeah, um, you can find the other bosses in here as well. And also people, uh, the perma torches, people also, you know, do uh, more uh, to get one for all every class and stuff like that if you want to be like the top uh, you know um, power ranked of a uh, of a specific class you know the knight for example if you want to be number one you need to be uh, having you know uh, the perma torch on right and of course you can switch it around it's still gonna like this one gives uh, 350 power rank you can just be, I can just put it on the knight, for example, but it's not really going to be beneficial for him. Some some people farm like torches for all of them, so they're gonna do, uh, you know, Leviathan for a long time. Also, the batches uh, for Leviathan. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm gonna show you. So, where is it? Oh yeah, cool. Um, oh rampages as well. I'm close getting closer to five, 200 uh yeah but the, the, it's 500 500 is the last one which is absolutely insane it might not be insane later on if they you know with more updates like the shadow towers is kind of done dead if you can say it like that so you can like i said like i said before i can solo it so you can basically solo it if you want to uh, and it, with more updates, you are going to uh, be even easier because they're going to do introduce, of course, more and more power rank. Um, which they also can now with, with like they don't have to think about oh we can't we can't do uh, more power rank because the con ending the content is not there to challenge people. Hey, say so we got a a parrot captain again, just the red one this time. <laughs> But uh, we just need this floor and two more floors, and then it's gonna be be done. It's about an hour and a half as this video probably. I think I've, I've basically also said everything there is. Uh, uh, everything there is to set be said about the uh, just the, the shadow towers and and stuff like that. So went through all of it how much do i have now okay not too much do i want to save it i will save it i won't hit uh, i was about to say max <laughs> uh right now my my maximum is only 800 since i don't have the I'm trying to work on the, the the delve uh so you can buy the wallet to increase from 600 uh to 800 uh you can buy one from the shop there's one from the shop uh right here if you just want to buy it here, that treats with 200 as well. 
Uh, then you have 800, or you can buy the one for 250 in a geo uh, for, uh, what's it called? Uh, for increasing it with 200 as well. What do we have to kill creatures here? Okay. Um, so that puts you up to a thousand. And then when you've done 500 challenge uh, delves levels, then uh, you get the coin of the, the obsidian delver which uh, you can then turn into the guy in the hub where you also bought the one for 250 and that's gonna increase it to 1200. I don't know if there is, uh, you can go over 1200 because uh, I saw on Twitter that uh, the great, uh, the people at Trove uh, Twitter, they put up a contest or like, uh, it was like, if you answer this question uh, and we're gonna pick a winner, whatever thing, they kind of do that almost every day. It's kind of nice, but um, then it, they also one of the the reward was to get a wallet uh, for that. So, so I don't know if it stacks with all of uh, the other ones that are available. So if you are on the twelve hundred, um, then uh, you know. Um, if it stacks with that, so you can get like to 1400, for example. And if you keep winning those, you can basically increase your wallet to a lot. <laughs> I think that, that wouldn't be a problem at all. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, just, you can just have more. And uh, at, right now, Inner Jude has no, no, no benefit for me at all. I have everything I, I need, except for the one mount, but uh, I can first get that one when I get the, the sub, Obsidian Delver whatever thing. And then I just have to max out my wallet because it costs like 900 something. So uh, I can't get it before that. I Well, I could just buy it from the shop if I want to do that, but I don't want to do that. Because in a dude, like I said, don't, I don't really need it. I get so much, you get so much of it when you uh, just, if you take it slow, do some easy delves, you get so much energy out of it, so much energy out of it. So yeah, don't really need to do that. So this is the second last floor until we do 24 and that's gonna be it, you know? Yeah, hour and a half. That's pretty nice. I, again, I don't do the, I'm just doing this run here because it's like extra content and uh, kind of stream would be a, a little bit longer. As you can see, this guy uh, takes a little bit longer time to kill. Oh, we got him. We got him. There we go. He is kaput. And we can also loot collect all of this. There we go. And now 124. And that's where I end. Um, because after that it becomes uh, too hard. <laughs> no, it's just it, it, it's too hard to, for it to be um, worth it. Because again, you get so much like... I was afraid in the beginning that I was not gonna have enough energy to, to uh, you know, keep going. But I have so much. As long as you have one private one, and you can always go into the public ones. The public ones you can go to as well. But uh, it's a little bit more janky. Um, if you do the the what I did is that it kind of randomly signs you up uh, for a like a with a character you can't change character it's like you're locked in with the character choice to do uh kind of like you do with the uh uh I, I think it's only in private you do it like that but anyways the, the point is that i ran i got randomly into sometimes i got into like 134 or something like that and people wasn't strong enough to do that and it just kind of fell apart um so i just left and then i signed up again and kept doing that and yeah, it's not super. It's not a super nice thing to do to leave people behind when they have signed up. But um, people do it for still do it for the badge. But then sometimes I went into one that was a lot easier. It's like okay, why was that uh, so much easier? Like like significantly uh, easier level. And that's not just because of the enemies. Because I don't think I've said this in any of my videos, so uh, maybe I should have put this in one of the start when I was doing this, because it's kind of uh, good information. Basically, you can see these enemies take, uh, you know, some of them take 
like a lot shorter time to kill and there's a very much a difference to all of them they are not the same and not even just because of the mods that they can have like this one has like maybe resistance to magic damage not even that but they are in themselves dif different like all of them are in themselves different uh, on what they uh, you know what they the, basically how much damage they do to you how much damage they take themselves these do a lot of damage these uh, sponge they, they almost like one shot me like half shot me i think they do so yeah it's not you can see that's what those how my life would just like bomb so if i take like two bombs i'm just like kind of dead but i should be i'm still 27 okay so that's good <laughs> I don't have to kill these if I don't actually want to because the objective is done. Also, you can get a lot of boxes, like a lot of dude boxes. You can see there was one behind here. Uh, wasn't it right here? Yeah, see it right there? So you can just bomb that. But you don't use your regular bombs. You do use the delt bombs. Uh, the delt bombs is something you get in, in these pressure locked uh, delt caches. That is where you get uh, those bombs and you can upgrade them to do more damage. So you have to use less of them. Um, you can do that in the in the hub with the workbench that is in the, on the left side of the uh, what's it called left side of the uh, um, of the public delve portal, which is the green one in the middle. So you just take a right when you spawn into the hub. There's a big house on the right. So just turn right, and there is the hub. I've shown it a bunch of times. So yeah. But yeah, so you can see it becomes a little bit. I could I could easily do this if I uh, went uh, into my you know attack form, if you can say it like that. Uh, but I am if I don't if I'm not in the other one, I can't do the use the. I can switch back and forth. It's not like that, but um, that's not what I want to do. There we go. But they're they're easy enough to uh, to do. Uh, still, I can still just do them by myself. I don't need my Draco babies to uh, defeat them. Uh, so, and here we go. I should be okay. I'm just gonna use this suck in all the things. We can actually see what mods it has while we're waiting on this. So, Trovian's attack heal them for percentage of max health. Okay, cool. Some enemies oh increase movement speed and there and. And takes reduced damage from players. Oh, so it's probably going to take them a little bit of time to defeat this guy. But well, we'll see. You always have three minutes to do it, no matter how fast you do it. So, always uh, three minutes. Always three minutes. Ah, it's going down pretty quick. Also, when you get further down... Uh, you know, the bosses get harder and takes uh, less and less damage. So, there's no really need to push more. Just start over and, and keep going. Since I also still need the batch, it's a really, you know, I have to do... I could I could go... Well, the challenge ones, I could really go lower. Uh, the regular challenge mode, you start at the hardest one you can do. Uh, and it keeps staying at that. And then it decreases over weeks. So... Mine was, might be back to what it started at before. But it does decrease every week how many, what the floor was that you could do. Like, if you do, like, mine was the hardest. Uh, if I do 126, for example, uh, that's the, like, that's the hardest one I could do solo, right? Let's just take that. Um, it will start me off at 126 when I put down a normal uh, pub, uh, normal challenge delve. Uh, not the easy mode that I was doing here. Um, and then if I keep doing that, it's still going to do that. But over weeks, it's going to de decrease again to to a certain number. I don't know what it is, but uh, but I know it's going to decrease over time. So mine might be uh, back at 110 or, or something like that. So yeah, that was it. That was the what I basically do daily, but also a, a, a complete Dell run. Uh, now I will... I won't reset. I'll I'll edit this video, but I will normally reset and then you know go back to the uh, to my club world, reset, 
kind of clear my inventory so it's all neat and stuff like that and um then i'll just keep doing this and i did the same thing with the public one and i did all that on stream and stuff like that so i'm not going to really go over that i also talked about it in other videos and stuff like that how to do that as well but i hope you guys enjoyed my little uh daily thing and uh, dell run and yeah just a little bit of different content um so just want to say thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of the video an hour and a half so it's kind of a long one uh, but very much different so i again i hope you guys enjoyed something different uh on the on the channel well i guess different format i guess <laughs> uh it's not something that's going to be every week or anything like that i just wanted to you know do something a little bit different for you guys and also kind of forced me to do my daily stuff <laughs> But anyways, that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!